December marked 100 years since the Catcher Race Riots of 1923, events that left one man and one woman dead, 15 in prison, and drove 300 black citizens from their homes in Crawford County. This Saturday, the public is getting a first look at a documentary that aims to break the silence about the events in Catcher, made in honor of the 100-year anniversary. It's part of an Arkansas Black History movie night at the King Opera House in Van Buren. Five News reporter Morgan Wrigley sat down with the team, bringing this part of Arkansas history back to life. What's the history in your community? What's the history uh, in your city, your state? Sometimes uncovering that history can be uncomfortable, but Talisha Richardson says it's necessary. That's my hope with this documentary, that it spurs more documentaries across the country of people wanting to unify for change. Richardson is joining Dr. Brandon Chase Goldsmith and filmmaker Grant Thomas with Soul Studios in producing a new documentary about the Catcher Race Riots of 1923. On December 28, 1923, the assault and murder of 25-year-old Effie Latimer led to the events in Catcher, a rural town between Fort Smith and Van Buren. Rumors that Latimer had been raped and murdered by three black men angered a group of white citizens who formed a 500-person mob to punish the men. This led to an outcry in the community of Catcher to bring these three men to justice in somewhat foregoing due process. And as a result of that, the community pulled itself together, excluding the black community, and decided they were going to run the black community out of Catcher, Arkansas. It ended with one black man dead, 15 in jail, and the exodus of all the black families in town across the river to Fort Smith, forced to leave everything behind, including their land and mineral rights. A series of events many today are not even aware happened. There seems to be a code of silence where um, either a lot of people don't know about the event or the people that do don't want to talk about it. Hence the name of the new documentary, Catcher, Breaking the Code of Silence. It's a lot of times people think, oh, that's just something that happens somewhere else. It doesn't happen here. And if people see it as something that happens in their own backyard, then maybe you're more willing to address those issues and make sure that they don't happen later on. Heavily contributing to the documentary is the research of Dr. Michael Anthony, who did a deep dive into the history of Catcher for his dissertation at the University of Arkansas. There was very little to go off of. And so the first thing I did was just go look through the newspapers from Van Buren and Fayetteville at the time. And from there, I found more and more of this story being uncovered. And um, we were able to find court documents, we were able to find land documents to help substantiate all of these claims even further and really tell the story, especially from the black perspective for the first time. The documentary includes interviews with people whose ancestors were impacted by the events in Catcher, including Talisha's husband, State Representative Jay Richardson. When I watched Jay on the documentary, I was fascinated of his aha moments. A lot of times we don't know where our place is in history, but his family has formal documentation that they stood on the side that really resonated with me. They were standing their ground for what they believed in. Richardson and the rest of the team say their goal with this documentary is to shine a light on what happened in Catcher and similar events around the country during the same time frame. In 1919, Elaine happens. In 1921, Tulsa happens. In 1923, Catcher happens. So Catcher happens, it's not a one-off event. It happens within a context of events that were going on not only across Arkansas, but the entire nation. So these are stories that need to be told. Stories that illuminate the pain of the past. But also remember that they're not extraordinary. In many cases, they're part and parcel with the time period and even more so lead to change. We have to understand inclusion before we can truly get to a state of inclusion. In Crawford County, covering news where you live, Morgan Wrigley, 5 News. Thanks for that, Morgan. Well, a short version of the documentary will preview this Saturday night at 6 at the King Opera House in Van Buren, along with two other documentaries. The event will also be a fundraiser to help the team finish the full version in time for the Fort Smith International Film Fest in August. That's when it's planned to premiere.